to the channel, just, just a quick reminder, our shirts are in, put a new order in for a lot of bigger, I guess you guys like big shirts. This shirt, I'm going to show it to you, is for the contest winner, Mr. Bayou Biggs. He was number 500, he wasn't the 500, but at 500 subscribers, we did a giveaway, so he was the winner of the t-shirt. I asked him, what size do you want? He said, 5X. This is what a 5X t-shirt looks like, bro. Now I know why they call you Bayou Biggs. All right? So congratulations. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next contest is at 1,000. We're at 700 and something. So we're going to be doing another giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. Uh, something real special. You guys are going to like that, I hope. But uh, it's going to be exciting. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And we'll see you at No Prep Kings in Virginia next week. All right, we got the man here doing his thing. I'm rolling these tabs up in this thing so we can mount this weight bar in here. And then I'll make some tabs come off of this to meet those tabs. The other one, Johnny painted that one yesterday. That one's all set. So Once he's done welding, pull it down, then I'll mount the ones on here, and then I'll paint this thing black. All right. Got the tabs all in. We're going to finish priming them up and then paint them. All right, one thing we got to do here. See how this is recessed? So we hooked the bolt up to this, but it's, there's no way to get it nice and flat in the bolt. The bolt doesn't really tighten. So we're going to fill this in like this. This side broke, so i got to fix this anyway. So we're going to fill it in flat and leave a hole. And then the bolt can have a washer, and it'll tighten up nice and tight against the bottom. All right, so that one's done. It's all roughed out. I'm going to get it smooth when I'm done. This one's getting hard now. Be a couple minutes and I can take the tape off, take the bolt out, and I'll be left with a hole, a 3 8 hole for a 5 16 bolt that has to go in there so I have enough room to play around with it. All right? That'll be done. All right. Primer to paint it. All the brackets are welded on it. Ready to go. Put it on tomorrow. All right, we're here at Sign Graphics, so right now we're gonna get a giant sticker made up for the back of the trailer. So this when you go going... on, Sign Graphics, he owns the company. He does all our graphic works and stuff. His daughter's the one that does all the shirts for us. So he's gonna do a nice logo on the, the back of the trailer. Yeah, well, right? when you're driving down the highway, you can see yeah. what's in there. So, so all what right. we'll do is he's gonna take care of that, and then when we come back, we'll show you what it looks like. All right. All right. Cool. All right, check it out, guys. That came out sweet. Now we can see it nice and big. So if you need guys, you need anything done, he's in Bridgeton. There's his info. Ask for Rich. He'll take care of you. He's a good guy. Prices are great, and he got it done like right away. All right. Talk to you guys later. All righty. So we got the weight bars made up. The boys are filling them up with lead shot. Took a lot of shotgun shells. A lot of shotgun shells. I'm gonna put the battery on charge. I put the underneath back together. We made a bar change. Lengthen the instant center. Switch the shock settings. I put all the pans and everything back on it. So I'm just gonna set the uh, battery charger on to charge the battery up. And put the front back together. I got to check the valves real quick. Run the, through the valves and check the springs. So here what we're doing is pulling the valve covers off. We have a tool that checks the spring pressure. So we go through the spring pressure, make sure all the springs are good. If we see any weak ones, we want to get them changed before there's an issue with them. So that's what we're doing here. Put a new set of fresh bar plugs in it. Check all the valve lash. Put it all back together. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. Put new oil Come on. in it. Change the oil in the Mom called though and said they were, they were closed anyway. Because they, they, they thought it was in the night. Alright, 
So, so much for going to the track on Sunday. Or Friday night, for that matter. This was still Friday night. So, we ended up finishing up what we had going on here. Put everything back together. And getting it ready for hopefully Sunday. But unfortunately, Sunday also got rained. I don't know if you can hear it. It's pouring outside. And then... uh that's hail here. No, that's the thing. Every other one, every other one, every other one. Got to clean all the gutters okay. out again. Yeah. Put the put the four right wheel in that four wheel the the fork over. Right there in that part of the diaper. Well, right I don't think it went in the diaper because it never yeah. fell like this. Not in the diaper. No, 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 no. That was the one in the bottom one. Yeah. Now we're trying to find washers. Are you on? Yeah, I'm on right now. So when we find that, we'll... I'm telling you, it's underneath. It's on the floor. So, yep, the washer ended up, like you said, in the diaper. So we ended up finding that. Servicing the uh, blower, the blower gear motor, drive. and the gear drive. Well, I got a little syringe that I can fill it with now, because or else we got to get a little tiny funnel and it was a pain in the ass. So finally got that set up. Topping it all off. this off. Did you find the right bolts for that now? Yep, we got the bolts for that. I'm gonna put the fenders, change the fender stuff around now so that works. So I don't keep breaking it. Got it all back together. I'm gonna to show you real quick what I did here. So you can see what I, what, what I did here. So now, you need to see this. So see that? That was recessed way into the, up into the fender. So now it's flush. You just put a regular nut and bolt, I mean a regular bolt and washer and I could tighten it. That's good. All right. Sorry about the camera, but all right. So now we're gonna the nose is back on, doors all fit nice, everything's perfect with that. The wings on. We're gonna pack this parachute real quick and put it back on the lift. Put the last pan back under the oil pan because we just changed the oil and all that stuff. Valves, valve spring check. Everything worked out good. We uh, serviced everything up. Get ready to load this thing up and leave in a couple of days.
Virginia.